you're welcome to my channel still continuing with topic 2 auditing so we are going to look at the international standards on auditing also known as ISS yeah so when auditors are performing an audit they must comply with these standards for those in Uganda they must comply with the ISS that were adopted by the ICPAU according to the standards of Uganda. So these ISS, they contain the basic principles and essential procedures that are supposed to be used by the auditors when they're conducting an audit on the financial statements. So the ISS are developed by the International Auditing and Assuring Standards Board, also known as IAASB. Yeah, so we are going to look at the process of developing ISS. So the five steps and the formula, I put the formula there in the corner, which is RD ECA. Yeah, it will maybe help you to remember. RD ECA. Yeah. So the steps for developing ISS, the first step is that a task force is established by the IASB, which is the board, to develop a standard, to develop a draft standard based on research and consultation. So when you're doing something, most of the times you first come up with a draft before you come up with the original. So a task force is supposed to come up with a draft standard after doing research and then consultation they come up with a draft of what they think the standard will contain and all that then after coming up with a draft we go to the second step that draft standard is discussed and debated at an IAASB meeting that is open to the public like when the public is listening so that's the second step, which is the one for D. ARA, sorry, the formula that I gave you, ARA is for research and consultation. Then D is discussion and debate. So the standard is discussed and debated at the board meeting. Then after that, we go to the third step, an exposure draft. An exposure draft, which is ED, is placed on the IASB website and is distributed for public comment for a period not shorter than 120 days, which is four months. So that draft is placed on the website for the public to comment, and it's supposed to be there for a period exceeding four months. Yeah. Then after that, we go to the fourth step, so the comments are disclosed and the exposure draft may be revised. So after looking at the comments from the public, they decide whether they should revise the draft or they should make it the final standard. So the comments are disclosed and the exposure draft may be revised. If the changes are considered substantial, the revised exposure draft may be reissued for further comment. So in case they revise the draft they made again publish it for the pub the public to comment again but in case they they do not revise it then we proceed to the last step so the last step is approval of the standard that is made by an affirmative vote of at least two-thirds of the IASB meeting so that is the process for developing ISS, International Standards on Auditing. ARA, the formula I gave you, ARA is for research and consultation. D is for discussion and debate. E is for exposure draft. Then C is for comments. Then A is for approval. Yeah. Those are the steps. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.